YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a couple weeks since I've been on here. So I just want to say welcome back. I actually got a ring light, so I was waiting on that so I could start filming. Now I can film wherever I want because I'll always have stellar lighting. I mean, until this light burns out. But anyway, if you're a new viewer and you're just checking me out for the first time and you haven't hit the subscribe button, I'll give you about two seconds for you to pause this video, go down and do that. Join the Tiger Ambush, which is the fam. I would absolutely love to have you part of it. Send my link in your group chat, share it to your squad, let everybody know about this mother freaking channel. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Remy Madison. I post some cute stuff sometimes. So what I failed to consider is that with the better lighting and a better camera quality, you can actually see the flaws in my face. I know. I know it's so hard to find, like there really aren't any. <laughs> um yeah. so your girl has not seen her eyebrow lady in a hot minute. These eyebrows Ooh, I'm not even going to go that close because you guys do not need to see. So, today I'm just going to jump right into this video. So, I've been doing a lot of shuffle tutorials lately. I've been actually been working on my shuffle game. I've been trying to shuffle at least three times a week minimum. So, I've been trying to get up my shuffle game for festival season. Even though at this point it's kind of been established that it's not happening. So, I thought I would share another simple tutorial. Today, I'm just gonna take you through the Charleston tutorial. The Charleston is basically that crisscross move that everyone does with their feet. It's one of the most basic shuffle moves, it's a great transition move. So, without further ado, if you're down to watch me shuffle and teach you how to do the Charleston, if you're down to learn it, hop up, get on your feet, put your phone somewhere so you can stare at it and follow along, and let's get started. So I'm loving this ring light. I really hope it doesn't burn out anytime soon. Let's just play with it. So this is the first lighting. I'm not sure the names. Let's try it. So this would be the second lighting, which is more of a blue light. I kind of like this one better. I feel like I look a bit better. Maybe it, you know, it hides whatever a little bit more. It's cooler tone. Then there's this, which is a warm tone. I'm not a huge fan of this. I feel like it makes you look very, like, puffy. And then I think this is the first one that I did. Yeah, I think there's only three. Okay, so this is the first one. So I think I'm going to use this one, maybe sometimes a blue if I'm feeling it, but I'll probably stick to this one. So here I'm just starting with a demo of the Charleston. This is just what it looks like. You've probably seen this in a lot of Shuffler's videos. It's a great transition move, pretty easy to do overall. It's actually the first move I learned. So this move is just the crisscrossing of the feet, and what I like to do is start in what I call a ballet position. So I'm going to start with my right foot pointed out, my right toe, and then I'll bring my left leg back and pointing the toe in the opposite direction. It's just like a plie stance. So you want your feet together. They don't necessarily have to be touching. So your front leg, you want the heel to the bridge of your back leg. So this is the starting position that I like to begin with every time. So from this ballet plie stance, you're going to swing the back leg around. This will help you create your crisscross motion. So you have to swing the back leg around and move it to the front while keeping your feet in line. So right now you have your plie stance and you're essentially going to swing your back leg into another plie stance switching feet. So while you swing the back leg, the front leg is going to pivot out while resting the weight of the front leg on your toe. So here's what it looks like slowed down. Okay, so beginning our plie stance, we're going to start by swinging the back leg around. As we swing the back leg, the other leg that's in front is going to move in the opposite direction as well. So whenever the back leg's heels are out, the right leg's heels are out as well. Whenever the back leg's toes are pointing out, the front leg's toes are pointing out as well. So from your plie stance, as you swing your back leg out, you're going to swing your heel so it's on the outside. While you're doing that, your right leg is going to put the weight on its toe and then pivot so that its heel is also facing out. So both your heels will be out. Okay, so we've covered step one and two. In your plie position, you're going to swing your back leg out, pivoting your heels outwards. Then when you're coming in, you're going to turn your back leg so that your toe is facing outwards. Also pivoting your front leg so your toe is facing outwards and you're going to land back in a plie.
Okay, so now we're going to try it all together. So starting in your plate, you're going to swing your back leg around, pivoting both feet so that your heels are facing outward. And then as you're about to land, before your front foot hits the ground, you're going to twist so your toes are facing out on both feet and then land. Start in your plate, swing your leg around, and before your front foot lands, you're going to twist so your foot is facing outwards and that your back foot is also facing outwards. So essentially you start with your toes facing outwards. As you twist, your toes face inwards and your heels face out. And then as you land, you're back in a new plie position with the opposite leg while your toes facing outwards. So once you get the hang of it, you can pick up speed and this is what it's gonna look like. It's an excellent transition move. You can do a double front, double back, spice it up, do something interesting. So that is today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you got the move, take a video, send it to me on Instagram. I'd love to see your feedback and see your progress. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your group chat, let everybody know, and leave a comment down below if this was an easy tutorial to follow or if it was a little bit more difficult, and let me know. And again, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Madison. Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you in the next one, which is hopefully in a few a days.